Seems like I've been sanding a lot lately. Between this and that cap stand mold, I've been wearing my fingers to the bone. This is about ready to be painted. This is the need to my bridge port, which has been sitting around here waiting to get finished for, it's a shame to say, almost two years now. Don made me do it. Hey. So I, I, I don't know. It's the best system. You need to stop giving me the code then. Well, yeah. <laughs> I need to change it on you every day. That'll fix you. Badges removed. Ooh. Don has very, very nicely come to the shop to help me with this one. Don, as you can see from picture here, I'll show you a picture of what he did last. Likes to paint. I don't like to paint. I just like the way stuff looks after it's painted. There's a difference. Yeah. I hate to paint, and I'd rather it worked <laughs> and look terrible, but... It can work and look good. That's even better. This is the fourth bridge port or uh, knee mill like this. It's been through the shop in the last three years, and they're all gone but this one. This is going to be my personal machine, and Don because I've been working on something of his that says he's going to paint this sucker up for me. So today we're going to take it apart and get it ready for paint. When you buy an email, be careful. This one looked wonderful when you, when you first started looking at it. It's got chromed ways, not a whole bunch of wear. It looked great. And then you start digging into it, like backlash. How about a hundred and eighty degrees of backlash? <laughs> that paper went back and forth a lot. Uh, I mean, it's got a a motor over here that looks really great. And guess what? It's even worse over here. One. That's, back and forth even that's more. almost 360 degrees. And the guy I bought it from was a machinery builder. And he said, all it needs is a nut. <laughs> well, I've been digging into it and it needs a lot more. It needs both screws, X and Y. Yeah. Needs nuts for them. Needs bearings, needs oilers, needs way wipers, and may need a ride on my planer. Well, when you wear out a lead screw as much as this one's wore out, it's, it's been used. It's been used a lot. Wearing out the nuts, one thing. Wearing out the nut and the lead screw, that's a, that's a whole nother story. But the reason I like Bridgeport is I can buy every single piece yeah. on this machine. Reasonably, too. Reasonably. reasonably. In fact, I use, what is it, H&W? Mm -hmm. It's fast. We got all the parts you need. Don's been in there taking my badges off. I even got a new flag for it, Don. There you go. In fact, I bought a lot of parts. We got all kinds of things. We're going to rebuild the head. I've got nuts. Got some of these new dogs here. These are kind of wore out, so we're going to replace those up in the head. Bearings. Then I treated myself. Have a new. What's the name of it? Pork right. This is a chuck closer, air operated. It's gonna be nice. You, just jealous I have one you have one, I know you did. Mine's a curtain. 
But I didn't show you what's in the other box. But you, but you had better in mind. So. And pretty soon, about right here, DRO. is going to be a four-axis LCD DRO. I, I took a leap of faith and ordered it from DRO Pros. Yeah, probably all right. And we'll see how it works. All the ones in that base pretty much work to some extent. I have never had a DRO on any piece of equipment except one. You're gonna get spoiled really. And quick. I didn't didn't trust it. You're gonna get spoiled really quick. Just call me old school. But heck, DROs are 30, 40 years old now, yeah, so old that's even old school. You're old old school. Baby. Let's get You're to it. Ancient school. I am not ancient school. Older You're dirt. older than older dirt. Than dirt school. You, you're so damn old, you transferred into the earth after God finished making it. And I'm still, you're older than dirt. And I'm still walking on top of the dirt. That's well, I am too, luckily. Nearly wasn't. All right, let's get it going. Okay, let's time, do something. Time's a wasting. Said it needed to be painted. Well, to make it look really nice, it takes a lot of work. This had three coats of icing and about three coats of build-up primer on it. It's going to look nice. Let me show you this other one. It's not the other one, it's the other part of the machine. Well, this is the top piece of the bridge port. I don't know if it shows up as nice and shiny as it does here. Getting kind of dusty sitting over here. There's the knuckle over there. It's ready to go. And that's the motor cover. But all this is ready to go on the machine. Put the plaques back in. Looking good. <clears throat> I was just going to paint it. Maybe rough up what was there because it's in good shape. But once we started getting into it, I just thought, just go ahead and do it. Just take your time and make it look good. Here's the pedestal. There's, after it's been taken down the cast iron. Yeah, I gotta go through the process of fixing this all up. But it'll be worth it when it's through. Got the pedestal base left to do. And that's the biggest piece on this bridge port, but as soon as I get that, we're going to start putting it back together. The table's all planed. I've got a, a four foot angled straight edge that's been planed. And I've got to scrape both of those so I can use the straight edge to check the table. And then I'm building this Kingway alignment tool, and that's finished, that I needed to use to check the level, or excuse me, the straight edge, and then the table. So it's kind of all a process, and after a while, it just starts adding up time and time. God, that's smooth. Now you don't have to do all of this. But I'm in so deep now that if I don't, I'll lay awake at night thinking, you know, another two hours, three hours, or ten hours, it could have been looking really nice in there. And I find that as you go through life, that's the kind of thing that bugs me the most. Sitting there and looking at, I could have made that better. So, oh, what the heck? Don's one said he'd paint this thing. Obviously, Don's idea of painting is coming over and go, psh, psh, psh. then all the sand in the grind of the painting, the degrees and degrees and priming the. Oh, I'm gonna spray some of this gook or gunk engine degreaser in there. Let it sit for a little while while I clean out that old barrel, then blast it away.
Then I'm going to put a fan over it so I can dry off all the water out of that cast iron before it starts really rusting. Then I'll probably have to kill all the rust. Darn Don. Don introduced me to these. It's a pad of 50 pages of a plastic type paper, glossy, that you can mix things on like epoxy or body filler. And they really work nice. I used to use an old piece of glass, but cleaning it up and everything, this is a lot easier. You can't mix a lot of this icing at once. I tried yesterday. Boy, did I screw up. It mixes essentially just like Bondo does. And they say to mix it about 2%. For what I'm doing, this right here will probably be enough. But you gotta hurry, because it gets hard. If you put too much hardener in it, and you work it too long, just like Bondo, it'll set up on you. I'm using the light. Oh, Y'all aren't even watching. Go over here, guys. I'm using the light from the shop lights to kind of look here and tell me where it needs to have something. And this I'm going to put in and scrape it all off. I'm just going to try to fill the little voids. I don't want to have to sand everything again for an hour. This is where I was sanding some. As you can see, all those high bright spots. That's the uh, cast iron getting sanded down. We'll put some high build primer on it and let's see what it looks like. Now, <clears throat> this is stuff a friend of mine, Niles, found. It's a hard hat dark machine gray. It fast dry, and it leaves a really nice coat, and this can sprays it much better. It's not one of those really wide sprays like you can see, but I mean, it really makes a nice finish. So that's what I've used on the other parts, and this dries so quickly that it wants you to just use light coats. It says, uh, Several light coats a few minutes apart to avoid drips and runs. I hate drips and runs, don't you? You've got to recoat this within one hour or wait 24 hours or it'll sit there and crinkle. Well, this is the first day that I've had that's in the right temperature and right humidity range. I got it out here. Hopefully, I'm not going to have a gray trailer when I'm through, but. You gotta shake it for one minute after you hear the can start to rattle. What do you guys think about my new plan I've thought about? Ah, oh, it's rattling. I've got a new thought. Now, I ran it past Don, and he thought it was a great idea. I kind of want to run it by you guys. Now, I've had a YouTube channel for quite a while now. In fact, there's over 450 videos of not all good, some great, some mediocre. But because I haven't had a lot of promotion by YouTube, it's taken a while for it to start growing in subscribers. 
Now, I don't push you guys to subscribe. I don't have a little button. In fact, there's only been two times in the history of this channel that I've even talked about subscribing or hitting the like. I figure you're old enough and been around long enough you ought to figure out if you want to or not and know what to do. So I leave it up to you. The only two times I've even mentioned it was one when I needed to get a thousand subscribers so that I could control the ads or YouTube was going to fill it full of ads. And that worked well and that's why I did it that time. The second time was a parody. <laughs> oh, uh, before we do that. Geez, Steve, what the heck, man? That thing, sign, banner big enough? What sign? That one. Subscribe. Jeez, wait a minute, what the, what the heck? No, there's nothing. Got another one over there? No. Dang, one back from there where we just came from? You're turning into a subscriber whore, aren't you? Me? Yes, You're you. You're saying me? Yes. I told you you were a subscriber whore. Uh, Don, I've got a present for you. <laughs> what am I? Yeah, there you go. There's you a nice little what, necklace. What am I? Yeah. Am I cowbell? I'm a cow? I want to know where the hell you no, are at every cow. moment. Now... Because I haven't always had a lot of subscribers and YouTube hasn't pushed it, a lot of my earlier videos didn't have it, five, six hundred views. So I was thinking that I'd maybe put out a new video every weekend of new stuff going on, and maybe in the middle of the week, Wednesday or so, have a feature called The Vault, and go back and get a decent video from there. I've got lots of playlists and stuff. Heck, there's one playlist that's got 70 videos of two old farts doing machine stuff. Now, for you guys that like Don, which I love Don, not in that kind of way, Don and I have a special relationship. We're both of the same temperament. I have a little more patience than he does, but we kid each other all the time. And a lot of people think we're really mad at each other or putting each other down. It's just the way we are. So, sorry that bothers you, but it ain't going to change. So, let me know in the comments what you think about having a, a new old video once a week. Let's go paint. Sprayed it off. Not very windy right here. I got time to paint. This is the oil line that goes through. And I left the old one in. Cause keeps that hole from getting plugged up. I'll run a new line through there. Through. Let's see
Good thing about this being so fast dry is bugs and stuff don't have time to get into it. Looks better already. Bought this online. I'll link a link to where the video of Niall's shop that I took when he showed me this stuff. He does a little bit of uh, machine rebuilding on his, himself. It's going to look good. thing about this paint is you can put a lot of coats on quickly. It's not an automobile finish, but it looks pretty dead gum good for a machine tool. Kind of makes me want to get after it and do the base now. I'm thinking one more coat. Ought to do it. I think it's about time to do it now. about seven-eighths of a can. I like it. Well, this is what it's looking like. I don't know how well that shows up. It's about three light coats on there, maybe four. Got a few little sags on the very bottom down there when it went underneath there. But overall, it looks 10,000 times better than it did before.